Okay. Hi, everybody. I hope you can see my screen now. Hi. Yes. yes. Okay. What's Magnum? Magnum is one of the components uh, we provide, and it allows you to create a cluster of almost any popular container orchestration engines, such as Kubernetes or Docker Swarm or Apache Mesos. Magnum uses another OpenStack service, HIT, to orchestrate an operation system image and run it on either virtual machines or bare metal in a cluster configuration. HIT is an orchestration service, and if you are familiar with Amazon CloudFormation, so you, uh, HIT is the same in OpenStack. Magnum generates orchestration templates and runs a stack. Now I'm going to demonstrate to you how simple it is, it is to create a Kubernetes cluster with Magnum. There are three ways to call Magnum, just clean API calls, uh, command line client, or user interface in Horizon dashboard. I'm going to show you how to create a cluster via Horizon dashboard. You can see the dashboard on my screen already. And first, we need to create a cluster template. On the first page, you may specify the name and choose the orchestration engine. It's Kubernetes for now. You can make the template public in order to let other projects use it or enable internal registry and disable TLS for some reason. Next page, you can choose image. Fedora Atomic is the best choice for Kubernetes. Also, you can create custom images if you need something special on it. Next major options are flavors. In simple words, uh, a flavor is size of instances. They are fixed and can be configured by the operator only. You can specify different flavors for cluster masters and cluster workers or nodes. Cinder volume driver uh, is supported by Kubernetes, so we are going to use it. You can also specify here the size of volumes, but it is possible to change it later. So I will specify five. So the cinder volume would be setbacked. Yes, that's right. Thank you. Next page, you can choose the network driver, and Flannel is the preferred container networking implementation for Kubernetes here. You may specify proxy settings for any of your needs. Next required settings is the external network here. It allows you to access the cluster from outside the project. Next option is master LB. is a required option if you would like to use more than one master for HA purposes. Magnum will create an OpenStack load balancer to pass traffic through. Floating IP addresses are used to access all the nodes from outside of the project as well. Do you have any questions about cluster templates or networks at this stage? No. Okay. So that's all. Now we had a valid cluster template, which we can use to create a cluster. <coughs> okay, let's try to create a cluster now. Here's our, our cluster template and some details below. Next page, you need to specify how many masters and workers you need. I'll put here one one. Change the volume size, which has been previously set in the cluster template. I'll keep it five. On the next page, discovery URL. This is initial etcd or any other k value storage to help Magnum establish the cluster. You don't need to specify any unless you have any special reason for that. Magnum will create it itself. Also, you can change here the flavors. Omar, you have a question? No, no, I think that's sensible. Yes, otherwise Magnum will take it from the template. This is it, you can push the button and get some coffee. Let me show you how it's going in real time. Magnum creates a template for uh, hit, just cloud formation template, the same syntax. Yes, here we go. Here's our new stack. 
you can watch in real time what's going on here. This is orchestration dashboard stacks and to already created stack. Here you can see topology of your stack and watch in real time. Usually it takes about 15, 20 minutes, similar to Amazon EKS, but I'm not sure we will be sitting here and waiting 20 minutes. So I have created a cluster before the demo just to show some Kubernetes workload and how you can access it actually. <laughs> now I'm going to open the console. Uh, let me reshare my screen. Okay, I hope you can see my terminal. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So first you need to retrieve the cluster configuration certificates and keys. It is possible to get only via API or a common line client. I will be using the OpenStack common line client. demo system takes some time here is my cluster which i created before the demo and this is our cluster that i pushed the button just two minutes ago now we need to retrieve the config files The config files and certificates will be saved in this directory. Okay, here we go. All that you need is just export this environment variable and you can use kubectl to access the Kubernetes cluster. So you are familiar with Kubernetes, so you know what here is. Let me run some workload now. We can check that um, nothing is running in the cluster. No pods and only one services, only one service. Um, I'm going to run Nginx, just simple pod and service with an OpenStack external load balancer. Here is as a workload I'm going to deploy. That's simple Nginx pod and Nginx service which uses uh, OpenStack external load balancer. It's just the same syntax as what you use anywhere else. Oh. As Okay, let me deploy that. The pod is deploying. And now the service. Okay, the pod is already running. and the load balancer is also created. Now I can open the load balancer dashboard so we can see that the load balancer have been created successfully. Yes, here's our external load balancer and this is IP address that it will be used. So this is it. Unfortunately, due to some network restrictions at our host where we can't access this external network from outside. And it's just a fake network range created by our deployer for testing purposes and demos. If you have any questions, please ask. No. no. Okay, I hope it's it was clear. Thank you.